It's been several months since we finished the healer pilot study out in the field, and we've had a chance to take a deeper dive look at the data, and we're really excited about the results. We had 60 youth who we tested with the AI algorithms, and then we had 60 other who we tested as a control group without the AI algorithm. We wanted to find out how many people got information about HIV. In the AI case, 70% of those youth got information. In the case of our control group, only 25% got that information. So clearly the AI algorithm led to a market improvement. And then we looked at how many people started testing for HIV. In the case of the AI algorithm, 40% of those 70% changed their behavior to testing. In the case of the non-AI algorithm, nobody converted. So clearly there's a very significant potential for what is feasible with AI algorithms in this area. And even more exciting than the quantitative data that we collected is the unexpected human impact that this program has had on the young people who are the actual peer leaders in the intervention. I think specifically with this population where a lot of the experiences are kind of being invisible or being not acknowledged to give them an opportunity where their voices can be heard. Naturally, I'm, I'm an introvert. But uh, being able to be part of this, this group, it allows you to actually like, reach out to people, you know, to, to make it feel like you, know, you actually have knowledge that you can give to someone. I think he now has a language around what he wants to do. He has a language about affecting change and being a leader, which I don't even think he knew what that language was. What's really interesting about the healer algorithm is that it brings us unexpected people. I know I'm a goofy person and I know I, I... I have talents, but I'm very goofy, and it's hard for me to control my goofiness when it's time to be serious. So when they told me, I was like, all right. When we would pick these young people and give them the opportunity to be trained to be a leader, you could see that it was really changing the self-esteem that these young people had and the sense of confidence that they could be an agent for positive change in the world. A few of my friends told me that they look at me as a leader. So that was, felt good, but kind of weird. I think it was the first time that anyone has ever told them that they have the opportunity to be a leader. You know, sometimes it's really just turning on that light bulb in the young person's head that they're able to do this. The point of the intervention is to get young people to get their friends to get HIV tests and to work on HIV prevention. But the work that happened with the growth that we saw in the young people who were the peer leaders, that was the thing that I think filled all of our hearts with a sense of optimism and hope and excitement about what we're gonna do next. Now that we've successfully completed these pilot tests, we are moving on now to testing this algorithm on a massive scale with 900 youth in Los Angeles. We will be partnering with different homeless shelters, with non-governmental organizations, and this will be the first time these AI algorithms are going to be tested in the field on such a massive scale. And so these are going to be some very exciting results. And if this succeeds, then this program could potentially be deployed nationwide. So stay tuned.